Hey everyone, I'm Jason Boone, and on this week's episode of Friday Features, I'm gonna be focusing on three tools in felt that are especially powerful, and I'm gonna be using these tools to recreate a World War II map. Now, if you'd like to follow along with this tutorial and recreate this map with me step-by-step, step, you're gonna need a free felt account. So if you don't already have that, simply pause this video, go sign up for that now. And if you'd like to download the iconography and the image I use in the tutorial, those are available for free download. Just follow the link in the video description to get those. All right, now let's get into it. This first feature is by far my favorite, and that is the data library. You access this library by clicking on the layers button at the bottom. And now you can see we have a plethora of these different data sets, which are separated by these categories here. And if you even go down to the bottom, you don't find what you're looking for, you can request a specific layer. Now these data layers are gonna allow you to quickly and easily customize and stylize your map, which is gonna be important for this particular map because we're creating a historical map and I wanna go for a very specific minimal look. I want it to be desaturated. I don't have any labels or borders. So first I'll go over here and I can actually change this default background. Right here it says default. You can swap that over to satellite, but that's still not what I want. Over here there's a little plus button that says add background. And I'm gonna go over here and select color, and I'm just gonna select this default solid white color, click add background. This is gonna allow me to have a clean slate to start adding those various data layers to create my custom map. So I'll go back to layers here, and under general, I can select land. I'll click on this, and it says added to map, and look at how fast I did that. That was so fast, and it's so punchy and responsive. Now, I don't want this green, so I'm gonna come over here where it says land, and click on edit. Down here under polygons, we have the fill color, and there's a little drop down menu here, and I can select this preset color, which is gray. There we go. Now we've got the beginnings of our beautiful basic base map. You'll also wanna to go to view and select list, and that's gonna allow me to see my elements and my layers. So here we go, we have land, and we have our background solid color. All right, for the second feature, we're gonna use the circle tool to create our key visual. So if I pull up this reference map that I'm pulling inspiration from, this is essentially showing what I think is the combat or operational range of the various aircraft during World War II. You can see, if you look at the labels here, it says the name of the aircraft, the date, as well as the range in miles. So this first one here, we have the Spitfire and it says 175 miles. And all of these are radiating out from what looks like somewhere in East England. So I'm just gonna put an arbitrary spot here. We'll go grab the pin tool and I'm gonna pin it from maybe right here. And I don't need to add a name, I'll just use this pin as a reference, which I'll probably just delete later. And now I'm gonna go grab the circle tool and I'm gonna click right where that pin is and I wanna click where the center of the circle is gonna be. So it's gonna radiate out from there. And after I click it once and I start to drag out, you're gonna see it starts to draw the circle. And now I need to left click again for it to finish the circle. Now if we look at the details over here, we have the radius. So the radius of that Spitfire, if we go back and look at it again, the radius is 175 miles. So I can simply type that in here, 175. And now we have our Spitfire range, I'm gonna rename this Spitfire range and I can even add an image so I can add the iconography that I already have here right here Spitfire these are icons that I created in Adobe Illustrator so I'm going to double click this again these are available for free download link in the video description and to stylize this I'm going to switch the color to black and I'm going to bring the fill down to zero we'll bring the stroke maybe to 75 percent and I'm going to switch the stroke style to a dash there we go, we have our Spitfire range. Now I'm gonna simply repeat this for all of the five aircraft in this reference map. For this, I'm just gonna very quickly come in here and duplicate these, rename them, change the imagery, and then manually type in the radius. Now I'm gonna bring in my iconography and a texture image using the Upload Anything button. But what's really cool is I don't even need to use the button. I can simply drag and drop these images. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So over here, I have these four PNGs that I created inside. Again, I created these inside of Adobe Illustrator. So I can just grab all four of these and simply drag and drop them over here. Now I can simply select all of these and place them in a new group and rename it. And now I'll go through and quickly rename all the individual layers. I can also select them all at the same time and scale them down and then quickly position them with their corresponding circles. It's looking a little too crisp and clean for me, so I'm gonna grab this noisy background texture, just drag it and drop it over here. 
and I'll resize this a little bit and now I'll start to bring the opacity down somewhere like 30 since I'm going to be zoomed in here quite a bit I can just you know kind of cover up the area that I want to focus on and just kind of make it look a little bit grittier I'll rename this texture and I'm actually gonna lock it now so I don't grab it there we go for the last step I'm gonna grab the text tool and create labels once I type it out I'm gonna change the color to black and then I'm gonna scale it down and then I'll simply duplicate the first so I have the same exact style and reposition accordingly so here is my final map now I can go to file and I can download this as an image and finally get some respect from my grandpa well, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And for all of you map lovers and GIS pros, if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel. We have a lot of great and interesting content planned, so be sure to hit that notification bell as well so you're notified when all this new content comes out. And we would absolutely love to see any maps that you create, so leave links down in the comments section or tag us on our socials so we can share. Thank you so much, see you in the next one.